before you were published, you were heavily involved with, um, with books and children's stories in particular. How have you seen the difference that World Book Day makes then? World Book Day makes a huge difference. It really is a fantastic opportunity for children in schools all over the country to kind of come together and celebrate books and reading for one very exciting day of the year. And there is so much different activity going on, everything from dressing up as book characters we've just seen yeah. uh, to um, children receiving one pound book tokens that they can go and spend in their local bookshop. So today, for someone in your position, is a bit like another Christmas, is it? It kind of is, yeah. I think that's a very good way to put it. And a lot of the children in the schools that I've been to today really are that excited about the opportunity to celebrate their favourite books. Now, you're a fairly new uh, writer, it has to be said. You first published last year. Yeah. Do you derive inspiration from World Book Day and, and the way children are encouraged to engage with it? I think as an author now, there's definitely a lot more opportunities to uh, see how kids are responding to your books. So I spend a lot of time going out into schools and to festivals and into libraries mm. uh, to see and speak to children. And that really, really does help you as a writer to know what kids love to read. And does it influence the way you come up with characters? Are you thinking, I should perhaps come up with a character that kids can dress up as, for example? Um, I have to say that's not really something that's ever popped into my mind, but obviously it is wonderful uh, to see children dressing up as your characters for World Book Day. Yeah, something to tell your mum about, to tell the grandparents, the grandkids about as well. Absolutely. Um, we've actually got a few kids who've, uh, who've made the effort to dress up and send in their pictures. Uh, let's have a look at them now. We've got Kenzie, who's five, dressed up as a fantastic Mr. Fox. Next up, Georgia, who's 10, and Isla who's eight, Del Plank, as Hermione uh, from Harry Potter, and a princess as well. Morgan Maddox, who's 10, dressed as Willy Wonka. That's a great outfit there. Uh, Phoebe Hunter, who's nine, dressed as Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. And Jemima Hunter, who's five, her sister, I think, dressed as Sophie from The Tiger Who Came to Tea, which is a book I love. Do you ever think, though, Catherine, that all this pressure on parents to help the kids dress up, perhaps, um, distracts or detracts from the, the World Book Day itself and its meaning? Well, I know that for a lot of parents, World Book Day is one of those things that might make them think, oh gosh, I've got to kind of come up with a, a creative costume. But I think really the important message of the day is that it is all about celebrating books and reading. And it doesn't matter whether you do that in the most wonderful costume of all, or whether you're just simply coming to school with your favourite book. That's really what World Book Day is all about. I did see a few Harry Potters and Mildred Hubbles and Angelina Ballerinas when I was dropping my own kids mm. off at school this morning. But it doesn't seem to matter if they are engaging with it or not on that level, as long as they are, like you say, encouraged to read and enjoy books. Absolutely, because reading for fun is really what World Book Day is all about. Obviously, reading has all kinds of fantastic benefits for children in terms of educational benefits and also for well-being. But the most important thing is that they're reading because they love it, just for the sheer pleasure of enjoying a good book. And finally, just working as an author, it's not the case where you have to write a book now and just give it to your publisher and that's it. <laughs> no. it's, a, it's a lot busier than that, right? That's right, yes, absolutely. Lots of authors will have been all out and about today, but also all year round, going into schools, going into libraries to meet children and talk about what they do.